Howdy there, friends and family. It's Brooke, and welcome back to another art video. It is rodeo season here in Kansas. We actually have the Plainville Rodeo tonight, so I wanted to keep today's art video on theme with that. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw a steer. I'm actually going to be doing a series of rodeo themed drawings because there's just so much that I want to teach you guys how to draw. Here are the things that you'll need. The things you'll need for this video are a sharpie for outlining, a pencil if you'd like to sketch it out first, a large eraser, and a few different colors. I'm going to be doing mostly brown tones for my steer. Of course you can customize it and make it whatever breed you like. Let's get started. I'm not gonna be sketching out my design first, but of course you can use pencil if you're more comfortable with it, and then you can go in with a Sharpie or another fine liner after. We're gonna start at the center of the page with his nose. I'm gonna make a square with rounded corners. Right here is about the center of my page. I'm gonna go ahead and draw that square, round out those corners. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna add curved lines on either side for the nostrils. So in the middle of the square to the side, I'm gonna draw a curved line facing out. And on the other side, I'm gonna draw a curved line facing the other way. We're gonna make this little guy with his mouth open. He's happy. So I'm gonna draw a smiley face shaped line right underneath my square. And then another one right underneath that. That's gonna be his lower lip. We're gonna add a little hump on the inside to be his tongue. Now it's time to draw his head. I'm gonna take four fingers, so basically the top part of my hand, and above that I'm gonna draw a line that's a little bit longer than his nose. That's gonna be his forehead. I'm gonna go ahead and make the side of his head starting at the bottom of the square that we drew for the nose and going up until it joins with this top line here. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So starting at the bottom of the square, go up until it connects with his forehead. We're gonna give our steer some horns. So starting at the forehead, I'm gonna draw a straight line out and then curve up. You can make the horns as long as you'd like. I'm gonna do the same thing to match on the other side, so straight line out, and then slowly curve up. We're gonna make the points at the top a little bit rounded, and then we're gonna come back down and follow that curve. You wanna make sure the horns are pretty thick so they don't look silly. Same thing on the other side, I'm gonna round off the point, and then go down, trying to match this other side with the thickness. We're gonna give them some little ears. So I'm gonna make a little teardrop shape right underneath the horn. It's gonna kind of overlap. Same thing on the other side. You don't want his ears to be too big because you don't want him to look like a donkey. I'm gonna draw a curved line on the inside that kind of looks like a frowny face. Now it's time to add our little guy's eyes. It'll give him so much expression. So on the right side, kind of towards the cheek, I'm gonna go ahead and right above the nose, I'm gonna draw a frowny face shaped line. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, a frowny face line. Now to make his upper eyelid, I'm gonna make a curved line up. You can make his eyes as big as you'd like, and then back down. Same thing on this side, we're gonna try and make it match. So I'm gonna go up, curve, Come back down. I'm gonna add two small ovals facing the inside of his eye. We can go ahead and shade in the eye. I'm shading in the rest of the eye with my black. I'm not the biggest fan of these eyes, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into a little circle at the top. This will make it a little bit more cuter. And then a little circle at the bottom. And we're gonna shade in the rest. Same thing on the other side. Little circle at the top, little circle at the bottom. I'm gonna give him a white line that goes from his nose up to his head. You can make this furry if you'd like by just adding some texture.
You can see how I just add the little bumps. I started out thin and then I went out wider towards the top of his head. Let's give him a neck. So starting just underneath the eye, I'm gonna draw a line down and curve in right under his lip. Same thing on the other side. So underneath his eye, I'm gonna do a line down and come in. We're gonna add his shoulders and we want him to look pretty wide. So he's a big steer. Um, just a little bit down, I'm going to go ahead and draw a curved line out and end it at the bottom of my page. Same thing on the other side, I'm going to draw a shoulder out, come back in. My line got a little bit wonky here, but that's okay. Even professional artists mess up and kind of have to work with it sometimes. Starting where his chest should be, I'm going to make a line down and then a smiley face line to be his chest. For his haunches or his hips, I'm going to make him kind of square. So I'm going to go out and then come right back down. I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to make my steer look more like a spotted longhorn. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this spot open. I'm going to give it a little bit of fur. I'm going to be adding more spots and details with my colors. You can color in the legs solidly to make it look more like a traditional steer, but I'm actually going to add some spots to the neck and to the back legs. Last thing we need to do is color in his tongue pink and the inside of his mouth a bit darker, more maroon of a color. Don't forget to sign your work. This is the first time I'm gonna be able to sign my new last name. And there you have it guys, that is our steer all ready for the rodeo. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe so you never miss out on another video. I post every Sunday. So keep a lookout. Let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see me draw next. God bless, and I'll see y'all in the next art video. Bye.